Welcome to the AKC Urban Canine Good Citizen Test. AKC Urban CGC is a test of practical behaviors for dogs who live in and are tested in urban settings. While Urban CGC is certainly for dogs in big cities such as New York or Los Angeles, if you've got streets, sidewalks, public buildings, and traffic in your city or town, your dog can also earn the Urban CGC title. Urban CGC test is more advanced than Canine Good Citizen, and to earn the AKC Urban CGC title, dogs must have a Canine Good Citizen test on record at the American Kennel Club. Dogs who pass the AKC Urban CGC test earn the official AKC Urban CGC title that is designated by the letters CGCU on the dog's title record. In step one, the evaluator will observe as the dog enters or exits doorways in dog-friendly buildings. There should be no pulling on the leash to forge ahead and the dog should not lag behind the handler. In step two, the CGC evaluator will observe as the dog walks with the handler on a busy sidewalk. There will be people walking by the dog, traffic, and other unplanned distractions, such as joggers or people on skateboards. In this exercise, the dog must respond appropriately to city noises, movements, and walking on a variety of surfaces. The evaluator will watch the dog in the presence of naturally occurring sounds, such as car horns, moving objects, such as bikes and skateboards, and unusual surfaces, such as grates and plastic tarps. In this exercise, the dog must remain under control while crossing the street with the handler. The dog is on leash and stands or sits to wait and cross when cued by the handler. In test five, the dog must ignore food or food containers on the sidewalk. Food items can be food, cups, bags, boxes, cans, or paper in which food was wrapped the handler may tell the dog, leave it. In this test, a person or people who may be carrying purses, shopping bags, or computer bags walk up and pet the dog when the dog is out for a walk in the city. In this test, the dog will demonstrate a down stay for three minutes in a lobby or outdoor area of a dog-friendly public building. When indoors, the dog will walk under control in the building. There may be slick or carpeted floors.
In test eight, the evaluator observes as the dog goes up and down steps under control and or uses an elevator. The evaluator may test situations that the dog and handler encounter while living in their city. For example, if there are no elevators in the neighborhood, the dog may be tested on stairs. In this test, the evaluator may observe the dog during classes or during this test to ensure that it has been house trained. Dog owners may provide additional information regarding the dog's house training at home. For example, small dogs who live in condos may use designated indoor areas during the freezing winter. In test 10, the evaluator will observe the dog and handler using dog-friendly transportation. This may include cars, subways, or dog-friendly cabs or car services. Rules pertaining to public transportation should be followed, such as small dogs must ride in enclosed carry bags. <laughs>